Wearing your seatbelt is easy and it costs you nothing. Not wearing your seatbelt could cost you a ticket or even worse, your life. This woman lost her friend in a car accident. Her friend wasn't wearing her seatbelt. Please buckle up. This man was lucky. He was wearing his seatbelt. Today, I'm going to convince you to wear your seatbelt every time you get into a vehicle. 40,000 people die each year in car accidents. Safety belts can prevent death in half of these accidents. Imagine running as fast as you can into a wall. You'd expect to get pretty banged up. Do you think you could stop yourself if the wall suddenly popped up in front of you two feet away? This is exactly the situation you'd face when the front of your car hits something at only 15 miles an hour. At 30 miles an hour, you, when you hit the wall four times as hard, or to put it another way, with the same impact as you'd feel if you fell three stories. You say, well, I'm only going to the shopping center. Actually, this is the best time to wear your seatbelt, since 80% of traffic fatalities occur within 25 miles of your home and at only 40 miles an hour. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration estimates that seatbelts have saved 9,500 lives each year in the United States. Failure to wear a seatbelt contributes to more fatalities than any other single traffic safety related behavior. 63% of people killed in accidents are not wearing their seatbelts. If 90% of Americans would buckle up, we will prevent more than 5,500 deaths and 132,000 injuries annually. The cost of unbuckled drivers and passengers go beyond those killed and the loss of their families. We all pay for those who don't buckle up in higher taxes, higher health care, and higher insurance cost. By reaching the goal of 90% seat belt use and 25% reduction in child fatalities, we will save 8.8 .8 billion annually. One out of every five drivers will be involved in a traffic crash this year. Just remember, cars don't fly, neither should you.